Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to create an SS token for the Dropbox. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So first of all, we have to click on this part. Okay, so just paste this. Okay, so developers. Okay, this is we have already logged in. Then create apps. Click on the create apps, right? So here we have the choose an API scoped. Choose the type of SS you need. So here you can see that. Click on the create app. Choose the type that is typically select the scope access. Choose the type of the SS you want to have. For the file uploads, you need to select the appropriate scope such as file.contents.write and the read. Okay. So app folder. Okay. So this is done. Name of app. We can make it like test uh, app. Okay, agree to the Dropbox credentials. Access to a single folder, critically specified for full Dropbox if you want to assess the files folders in the user's Dropbox. Okay, create app. Already taken. So we will take it as a node app. Node app is also taken. Name your app application. Uh, Rajni test node app. Okay, let's create the app. Anything else we have missed? Okay, done. So, app is created, and here you can see that uh, configuring the app settings, select the accept uh, access scopes. You can do the things over here, right? So, let's do this. Redirect URL for the auth2. You can configure, and here we have the API key and the secret. Okay, and here we can generate the SS token. So you can click on this generate SS token and I get the SS token like this. Okay, so I can use in in the next next video. So after creating the app, you will be directed to the app settings page, right? After the creating, you can see redirect to the app setting page, scroll down and the title auth2 locate selection generate the SS token. And here we go with this one. So the here you can get this SS token, the rest of the things you can update accordingly. Okay. I will use this token in the next video to upload the images or anything into the Dropbox. Let's see this token valid or I think it's true valid. Like how to create the, this one, you get it to know. And they have, we have our permissions. So account info read, account info write, view and edit in basic information about Dropbox such as profile, photo and everything. So these are the file and folders. You can mention the files to be write, files content to be read and write, okay, sharing, Okay, so these are the SS rights that you can do. Okay. And uh, here we have the connect permission that allowed the profile and the email basics. And uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Submit permissions change successfully. Right. So this is how we have generate the SES token. Any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day and don't forget to like, share and comment on my video.